from Jordan. Uh, uh, my name is Rami. Hello, nice, nice to my meet you. Rajiv. I love chapati and the food. Hello and good morning from Amman, Jordan. Today is my final day in the city, actually the final day in this country, Jordan. So this morning I'm going to travel about 40 minutes outside this city to explore a well-preserved archaeological ruin city called Jerash. After Petra, I think it's one of the uh, most touristy places to see in uh, Jordan in terms of archaeological ruins. So the bus to go to Jerash from Amman uh, leaves from this uh, Tabarbor North bus station. You probably remember this from my first video from Jordan, the day I took the airport bus. The airport bus dropped me over here and this is from where I had taken a taxi. So this North bus stop is actually 15 minutes outside the city of Amman. So you probably need to take an Uber. I took an Uber from downtown where my hotel is. It uh, The Uber costs around two, two and a half uh, JDs. It's not that much. So from here actually the bus that goes to Jerash, even if it takes 40 minutes, uh, the prices are really affordable. It's one, 1.5, two JDs maximum. So this is the best way to go to Jerash from Amman. So let me find out over here which bus actually goes to uh, Jerash from one of the bus drivers because if you ask a taxi driver they're just going to tell you that there are no buses and they'll try to scam you that's what I've read on the internet so let me try to find a bus driver so like I said one of the polite um, bus drivers just told me that this bus goes to Jerash so I'll take the bus now awesome it was really easy the bus dropped all the tourists over here just in front of the uh, Jerash visitor center it took a little uh, less than 40 minutes but keep in mind that the bus only leaves once it's full so that took around 15-20 minutes as well Excuse me, sir. No, thank you. So just before you enter into the Jerash visitors complex, you have this souk kind of an area where you get traditional uh, souvenirs, cars, clothes and things like that. So if you want to do some last minute shopping, you could always do it over here. Uh, finally, the bus to go back to Amman, that as well. <laughs> Hello, I'm from Jordan. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my name is Rami. Hello, my friend. What's your name? <laughs> my name is Shubham. Hi, bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. Nice, nice to my meet name you. Rajiv. I love chapati and the food. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> uh, so, you can see that people over here are pretty friendly. So, I got some water from these soups because once you enter, it's going to take around uh, one and a half to two hours. So it's good to have some water on you. And yeah, what I was saying is that the bus to go back to Amman leaves from the same place uh, where the bus dropped us. So, this is what this complex looks like. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, this gate that you see over here towards the entrance is called the Hadrian's Ark. Uh, this is the entire archaeological park. This is going to take some time to see. So I'm here for a day trip, but uh, many people stay overnight in Jarash as well. I don't think it's needed, but you can decide it for yourself. So this is Hadrian's Ark. Looks pretty nice. It's just uh, towards the entrance after the souk. So let's start the trip. So Jarash has actually got quite a lot of tourists today. It's good to see 
that uh, these places have started getting tourists. So you can decide for yourself if you indeed need a guide over here in Jarash or not. Uh, I haven't taken any. Depends on what's your interest in archaeology. But you have these boards in front of all sites from where you can learn about these things. So the archaeological ruins that you see in front of me over here, these rocks, this apparently used to be a church, the Church of Marianos. So this entire arc and the Church of Marianos and these structures, they're outside the visitor's uh, center. They're after the souk, but the visitor center actually is up front. Oh yeah, this is the Hippodrome. Now, this right here is the Hippodrome. Hippodromes are places where you have chariot races. They are just behind me. Over here. These are the stands, basically. We can climb this. So let's climb this and check it out. So the place looks something like this from up here, from up the stands of the Hippodrome. So as you can see, that was a twin's arc from where we got in. And so the arc, as well as these ruins of the Church of Marianos, uh, that's a grave. And this Hippodrome area. A couple of these things are outside the main visitor center the visitor center is down the street probably you can see that building over there and the well preserved jerash city ruins that we see in the pictures on google and everywhere else that's basically after the visitor center i can see that from here i'll show it to you guys in a while so I'm near the visitor center. So over here you can see there's this Jordan Jarash restaurant and if you want something to eat after exploring, check that out. Saw that the ratings were pretty okay. Uh, you have some options of taking guides if you want to. This Precisely is the starting point of the archaeological site and from what I hear they are still digging this place up to find even more things. So this right in front of me is the south gate and this is the main entrance to this Jarash city. So with that I'm officially inside Jarash. So just after you enter through the south gate, you have the ruins of the souk. This apparently used to be the souk or the market. Just after the entrance. And it is believable because if you've been to various old towns and old cities that are walled even today, you'll see that they have usually markets just in front of the uh, main gate. Oh, this looks nice. All the various excavation sites. After that, we walk in to the Oval Plaza. It's a giant square with pillars which are really symbolic to the Roman Empire and architecture. By the way, this place is also covered in the Jordan Pass, so that's one more reason for you to buy the Jordan Pass. Wow. Looks phenomenal. They say that this is one of the most well preserved Roman city outside of Italy, still standing today. The name of this street is the Cardo. 
it used to be the main street of Jarash or Jarasha that's what they used to call this and I don't know if you can hear some faint sounds of the bagpipes so no one knows how the bagpipes ended up over here but they have bagpipe shows often over here for tourists even though I'm not much into history but the views are amazing it's incredible to see how well they have preserved old cities like this one who knows maybe the cities where we live these days uh, they might be well preserved or not maybe thousand years from now so apart from this amazing archaeological ruin site you have a great views of the city of Jarash I can still hear bagpipes performing far off at a distance I really hope that by the time I'm over there I get to see that performance these used to be the shops along the Cardo remember Cardo used to be the name of the street and I can't imagine that once shops pretty nice shops along the street they've become like this this used to be the cathedral and this is the oldest Byzantine church in the city of Jarash this looks like the ruins of the Abbey look at this place so if you've been to Europe, you know that fountains in the middle of big squares in the center of the city, those are really popular. And right behind me over here was the fountain at the center of Jarash. Right here. So that's why this place is called the Fountain Square. So this right here is the entire complex and believe it or not they're still excavating so much of it most of Jarash has still not been discovered yet much like the complex of Petra in front of me there I have the temple of Artemis and the North theater is somewhere over here as well I don't know if you can see, but far off at a distance, you have Atrian's Ark. That's from where we had entered. Right here, you have a hydraulic stone saw machine, and this dates back to 500 AD. And I guess this Jarash dates back to 100 AD or something like that. The view of the city is magnificent. If you still remember, we had entered through the south gate and behind me over here that right there is the north gate. So we have indeed covered all of Jerash archaeological ruins from the south gate to the north gate. Now it's time to check out the North Theatre and after that I'll explore the southern side. Whatever we've seen till now was more on the northern side. So I've heard that the southern theatre is bigger than the northern theatre or the reverse, I don't know. I'll know when, once I go into one. So yeah, right now I'm at the North Theatre. It's the smaller of the North and South Theatres. But it looks really nice. This is what the theater looks like and it's got these colorful floors. Pretty much the same as the theater in Amman, just it's a lot smaller. But yeah, this one looks better. 
I saw some locals here hanging out with some coffee. Uh, looks like a great place to actually sit back, relax, and enjoy coffee, tea, and kill time. Now let's head over to the southern section of the complex to see the southern amphitheater and rest of the things. So that there is the Cardo, the main street of Jarash and just perpendicular to it is the second uh, most important street of the city. It's called the South Decumanus and you can actually figure out how Roman architecture was back then. Everything looks perfect and you can almost picturize even today what the city looked like, how people walked over here, what these markets look like. So yeah, if you are in Jordan and if you have already seen the Wadi Ram uh, and Petra, then definitely spare half a day, preferably in the morning, to come to Jarash. It's absolutely wonderful. So if you still remember, this is the main square where we had started our journey in Jarash. Um, we came in through there and if you look to the south, you have the temple of Zeus up high against the sun right now. And just next to it, right there, is the Southern Theater, which is basically the bigger among the theaters over here. I think that the Aman Theater still is slightly bigger than this one, but this occasionally has backpipe performances as well. I can't hear them right now, so I guess I've missed it, uh, but whatever, it'll still be fun to go inside. And actually the view of the square from up here looks incredible. Have a look. It reminds me of actually the Vatican City. The same Romans had built that as well, so pretty obvious. Right next to the South Theater and the Temple of Zeus, you have this amazing shade. And since I've been walking now for more than an hour and a half, I'm going to take this opportunity to rest a little bit and have some water. And I'll talk to you guys after that. So after resting for a while, I've climbed up the Temple of Zeus and the views from here are again epic. Wherever you go over here, the views are always going to be epic. But from here, you have a clear bird's eye view of the square and the cardo. So let's see what's there inside the Zeus Temple. Looks like this. Not too much inside, just that the interior walls are well preserved. Right next to it, over here, is the Southern Theatre. And probably I'll have to go down from here and then walk up to it. About to enter the South Theatre, some souvenir shops. Oh yeah, this one is much bigger than the North one. Here you have it. So indeed you have bagpipes over here. You can see down here. Not playing right now. Those were just the ones that were just used as numbers. Okay? So, tough luck. No bagpipes right now. Anyways, uh, I hope that you get to listen to bagpipes while enjoying the South Theatre. Apparently they use the South Theatre even today if they have various functions and stuffs in Jarash. So yeah that's it. This covers the southern side. So honestly the uh, northern side has a lot more things to see than the southern side but the southern theatre is pretty nice. Um, it took me around two hours to explore all of Jarash. Of course, if you're a history buff, if you love 
archaeology a lot more than I do. It can take you even the entire day. Um, but don't skip Jarash, honestly, it's a very nice place. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed exploring Jarash. And if you have, then you can show some support by commenting down below and by giving this video a nice thumbs up um, and by subscribing to this channel. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Till then, have fun, travel a lot, keep exploring. See you.